Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I am sharing everything I have bought for my daughter's fourth birthday as well as what our plans are to celebrate and a little bit about her party and the things I've bought for that. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am a mum to an almost four year old. I have two daughters. My eldest is four very soon and my youngest is two and a half. I am a stay at home mum and homemaker and here is what I've got my daughter. So this is her main present. It is a scooter. The box is broken. It was like that when I got it, but we're gonna take it out and set it up. This is what she has specifically asked for. This is the only sort of present that she's asked for. Her cousin got this exact same one for Christmas and her cousin is at the same age as her. She's a month older. So it does say five plus. However, my daughter is very tall. She is as tall as a five-year-old and also she's very switched on. She's very bright and she's really good physically. She's always been very physically able, like with gross motor skills and things. So I think she'll be fine with this. Um, but I am gonna take this out of the box and set it up. Not in this video, like for her birthday. It's because she does know she's getting this one. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Oh, this was £29.99 from Smith's Toy Store, which I thought was a good price because she's only four so she might not use it loads or she might so i don't want to get like a super expensive one but i also don't want to get a really cheap one so i've kind of gone for like a middle one some of them were over 100 pounds but i thought this was a good price and it's pink and she'll like it and it's adjustable it's got light up wheels which i think she'll really like she did want a frozen one well she said she wanted this one and frozen i couldn't find a frozen one though and i thought well a character one she might grow out of but this one hopefully will last her a long time. So I'm really pleased with this. The rest of her presents are quite small and just, a f they're just a few. I didn't buy many this year and I'll explain why in a minute, but we'll, I'll just finish off with the gift haul. So yeah, I didn't get a lot, but my mum is getting her a jewellery box for her birthday. So I have got her some little bits of jewellery. I actually got these last year in the sale like in the 2022-2023 Christmas January sales so I've had these for a while but I just didn't feel like she was old enough to like have them and look after them properly but I feel like with the jewellery box that my mum's getting it will be perfect. So I'm getting her some jewellery and I can't actually remember where these are from and um, but this is a I think it's a I don't know if it's just a necklace or a bracelet as well um, but yeah it comes in this little bag and I thought it was really cute and it's got stars on and I think she'll really like that. Then I also have got her some rings so various different rings just silver ones they've got stars on a unicorn like sparkly bits I'm gonna keep them in this packaging so I'm not taking it out to show you but I think she'll really like that and I can't for the life of me think how much they were but I know they were quite cheap and they were in the sale and then this is really sweet this one is a letter s and i have amelia i bought amelia an a as well so i'll probably give amelia hers for her birthday even though she'll be three i'll give her it if i think or maybe i'll give her it when she's four as well i don't know but yeah this will be really nice little s and it's got colorful like gems around it and i think she'll really like that it does say it was seven pound new so i don't know i probably paid like 75 percent off Honestly, it was so long ago that I got these. But yeah, really pleased with that. And then finally, oh, maybe they're from Tesco because this says F and F on. I've got these sparkly hair clips. We go through hair clips like nobody's business. We have so many. So I just thought they would be really nice. I probably will wrap these up. I might even put them in a little gift bag and kind of make it like a bit more of a grown up present because she likes to think she's very grown up. But I thought they were really nice and make a nice little jewelry set. And then my mum will get her a jewelry box. And it's one of those jewellery boxes where you open it and there's a little ballerina or something or fairy or something that spins around. Then I got her a couple of little bath sets and I got these in the Boots Christmas sale just gone. So they're like December 2023. I got her this bath fizzer. This would have been at £2.50 but she loves bath bombs. And then also this Peppa Pig bath play set and you can paint with it I think. So it comes with bath paint, a sponge, a fizzer moldable soaps and a paintbrush so I, I think she'll really like that she's really into Peppa Pig and this was seven pound 
And then finally, I've got this Disney bedding set, this frozen bedding set. And it's funny because the other day she said for her birthday, she wants, or maybe she didn't say for her birthday, but she said she wants new bedding. And I was like, oh, what about frozen bedding? She's like, yeah, frozen bedding. So there we go. Good thinking. I know my child well. But yeah, I got this. It's a single duvet set. It's got Elsa, Anna and Olaf on. It's pink. She'll really love it. And again, I got this in sale. £14.50 so I guess I've spent be like £55-60 on presents which our budget for birthday is normally £50 so that's pretty good I think and obviously if you sale shop you can get a lot more for your money so that's just something to help if you're on a budget but definitely on a budget. I knew quite early on that she wanted that scooter because as soon as her cousins got one for Christmas she said she wanted one for her birthday. Oh there is one more present but it hasn't arrived yet and Joe bought this one um, he so she said she wanted a Sleeping Beauty outfit so Joe bless him found one from Timu which I've only shopped there once so I don't know if this is typical or not but Joe found it like on a good deal it was seven pound I think or something but it, it's not going to come until like anywhere from now which is Wednesday until like beginning of February and her birthday is in a few days so don't know whether that will come in time but if it doesn't and she asks for it then we'll just say oh it's it's coming soon and if she doesn't ask for it we'll just give her it when it arrives as like an extra so that's all her presents so now i'm gonna talk you through what we're doing to celebrate so we are having a soft play party we booked it way back in october i think so she's having 10 friends and there's 12 including amelia and sophia to soft play sophia loves soft play but she doesn't get to go as much now because i go on a wednesday with me but sophia's in nursery so she really loves it when she gets to go and i i think i booked it without asking her actually or maybe i asked her and then booked it but when i told her she was so excited and it's all she's been going on about so yeah she's having a soft play party which is really good because you pay per head and we've got two hours and we've got the basic package because they'll just want to run around and play you can get like extras you like there's a disco room and you can get a character come down but i just thought we're keeping it nice and simple and you get food included you get like a special party throne a little party area and i think you get a cake stand but not a cake so i have bought a cake so I bought this Peppa Pig cake. She did actually ask for a frozen one, but I couldn't find one this year. And she did have a frozen one last year. So I thought we'll get Peppa Pig. I've not gone expensive. Like I said, we're on a budget. And this was £12 for a cake, which is way more expensive than it used to be, but never mind. So yeah, we got her a cake and this will do. Like she's not bothered. She's not that fussy with cake and I'm not spending like 60 quid on a cake that she's not gonna eat. So I'm just gonna get this one. It's nice and simple and child friendly. So this will be for her party. And then I've also got party bags. So I went to Tesco because they have a good party bag section where it's, I think it's four for five. So you get, no, five for four. You get five items for the price of four. So this is what I've got party bags so just with unicorns on I went for 20 because I couldn't remember how many were coming and we use these quite a lot anyway and I have run out of party bags but when we have little like Easter parties or sometimes summer parties we we often do little goodie bags so yeah I've got these unicorn ones and then to go in it I've got some sweets from Lidl like some fake Haribo so I'll put a bag of sweets in and then I've got these crayons. I thought these were really good because you get a full pack of eight crayons and you get six in a pack. So I've got two, which is 12. So perfect, perfect amount. Let's hope nobody shows up last minute. Otherwise the girls will just have to not have a party bag. And then to go with that, I got these activity books. Ooh. So it's 20 pages, my fun packed activity book. And I thought like with a party bag sometimes it's just general tat which is fine like the kids love it but I do like it to be somewhat usable and practical and I thought well this is good you know parents could put it in their bag for restaurants or they could do it just at home you know like at tea time or something so I thought this was quite a good little party bag gift and then finally you've got to have one of these rubbish little sticker bubbles haven't you <laughs> no they're quite good actually but I just find that they never work but they're just really good to throw in Everybody loves bubbles and I got two packs of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight in a packet, so plenty. And I'll just I'll just put the rest in my party. I have like a party box that I just put things in. Like I said, we've totally run out of like gifts like this for now, but these little things are good for prizes if you're doing like a games thing or like I say for parties. 
So I think those look good. So it'll be like one of those, one of those bubbles, sweets, and then the cake. I think that's plenty for a party bag. So I got with the like offer, I got 10 things for the price of eight. So it's pretty good, although it was still expensive. And then in the evening, oh, so that's in the morning. And then in the evening, we're having like a family party because we're paying per head for the soft play party. I've not been able to invite like everybody, like all the cousins and stuff, the older cousins. So I'm just keeping it really simple. And we're having soft play party for the kids her age. And then we're having a party tea with like, pizza and party food just really simple kids food in the evening and we've got a family and cousins coming around so for that i've just got um i got these strawberry plates i've got two packs of those and some napkins and then i just got plain cups for the kids and then the grown-ups can just have hourglass ones and then the only other thing i've got is her birthday card which i've got this one with number four on i did think about getting a daughter one but i thought she would like the badge and she loves elsa and anna so that's her card. Um, the only other thing I wanted to get was a number four balloon, but we used to get those from Morrison's near us, but then they stopped doing a party section. So I need to find somewhere. I'm thinking somewhere like the card factory. I think they do them. So I may potentially see if I can pop to town Friday, maybe when Joe gets home from work. I don't know. I'll have to try and squeeze it in and get a number four balloon. If not, I might, I don't know. I might have to see if someone can get it and I'll pay it back for them maybe. But that is everything that we've got for her party. That's everything I'm doing for her, for her birthday and her party. And I think that's gonna be really nice. It's nice and simple, not too fussy. She had a big birthday party last year for three. I do like a proper party when they're three. Up until they're three, I do just like a little family gathering or going out for a meal. But at three, she can have a proper party. And I think as they get older, if they want a bigger present, they could not have a party. So they could have like a sort of 50 pound present budget may increase that you know as inflation whatever and a party or they can have like a bigger present but at the moment i feel like she wants a party and she's not that bothered about presents like she just wanted that scooter that's it so i think she'll really enjoy that and i'm really excited yeah i'm really excited for her birthday that was probably a quick video today but i just wanted to share that and maybe give some ideas of presents or party ideas if you're struggling like i said check out tesco it's not super cheap but it is good for party bags it's like the best place i've found for that if you like this video and you like family life in general then please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it just helps my channel it helps to push it out there to more people like you who like it and i will see you on the next video bye guys mm -hmm.